Hi guys, hopefully second time is a charm. I was recording, I was probably seven or eight minutes into it, and it just went bye-bye. So I'm going to try to get everything back in it that I got the first time. Um, this is a pencil video. It's primarily about, no, it's entirely about graphite pencils. I talk a lot about pens and pens and ink and things like that, um, but I don't think I've ever done a pencil video, and I love pencils for a variety of reasons. I do write with pencils, but I also do some sketching with pencils. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not going to show my sketches because it's not really something organized that I do. I just, you know, do it when I feel like it or in the margins of my journal or something. So it's not really something I do as a form of art. It's just something I do once in a while. Anyway, so I'm going to talk about some graphite pencils. I have some charcoal pencils too, but I um, charcoal is new to me, and I don't feel like I can give you an intelligent opinion about those at, that, at this point, but I wanted to show what I keep my pencils in right now is one of those Plano boxes from Walmart. Plano, not Plano, Plano, P-L-A-N-O. Um, there are these. This size is like a dollar a piece. They make larger ones, and I need a larger one. But what I have in here is some charcoal pencils, some other types of drawing pencils, including carbon pencils, and a few erasers. Um, a Derwent one that's just terrible. Some kneaded erasers, and one of the factus black erasers that you use for carbon and charcoal pencils. Um, but I don't have room in here now for my graphite stuff, and I certainly don't have any room for my sharpener, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with my graphite pencils yet. Um, I'm probably going to leave these in here. It'll probably be, you know, charcoal and other stuff. Um, but these Plano boxes are really nice, and what's neat about them is that the pencil, there's not a bunch of room in here until your pencils get much shorter, but you can also move these little things down. Um, but there's not much room for your leads to bang around or your pencil cores to bang around and get broken. And then if you do have a little bit of dust or a little bit of breakage, um, they're easy to clean out. You're not going to ruin a bag with any kind of pencil breakage. So um, I like these Plano boxes. I'll probably try to find a larger one for my graphite stuff. Although that's kind of a mixed bag sort of because there's really no, there's not going to be enough room for pencil sharpeners um, depending on what you use. So we'll see. Anyway. Pencil sharpeners. Let me start with that since I'm there. Um, favorite pencil sharpener in the world is a Palomino Long Point. I actually got this from Pencils.com, but JetPens carries them also. Pencils.com is fantastic. Their service is great. Um, they carry all of the models of Black Wings. They carry a bunch of other pencils that I've purchased for my kids, um, including these nice big, you can get all these California Republic pencils, and we haven't purchased a bad one. They're all excellent. Um, but this is a Long Point sharpener. If you haven't seen these before, I'm going to show you how they work. There's two holes in these. So the first one takes the wood off, so you sharpen your pencil in that first. And what you get is a, a point that looks like this. So the wood is gone. You can see that the graphite core is very long and weird looking. You run the graphite core through the second hole, and what you end up with is the most perfect pencil point you've ever seen. Nice and long and sharp, and it's the best pencil ever. I bought this when I first started buying black wings. I bought the 602s first. And I bought this to go with them, and it's perfect with them. It's an excellent sharpener. Um, it comes with extra blades that are stored um, inside here, and then you can buy extra blades for it. So one sharpener, some extra blades, you're good to go forever. Graphite pencils. My absolute favorite graphite pencils on the entire planet are Palomino Black Wings. Um, this is the regular Black Wing. I like the 602s as well. I bought those first. Um, for writing, I probably like the 602s a little bit better. For drawing, I like these better, but... Uh, and I haven't tried the pearls. Um, a good friend of mine is going to send me one, and I'll update you about that one because it's supposed to be in between this one and the 602s in softness. But these are fantastic, and I love the finish on these. It's not. I have a weird thing about texture in pencils. Um, I like the non-shiny, non-varnished um, finish on them. So whether it's just plain wood or even if it's paint, I prefer a non-varnished. Um, finish, and that's why I, one of the reasons I like these better than the 602s. So these are excellent. The erasers, um, all three of them, the white, the pink, and the black suck. Um, I use them when I'm writing, but not for art. I never use that eraser. Um, so you could pop those out. You could pop the, and that would change the balance of the pencil a little bit if, if you feel like it's overbalanced. And it can be a little bit, I think, um, heavy for the pencil, particularly when your pencil gets shorter, but that's just something personal. Um, I just picked up I guess I should go over the other pencil sharpener. I'm sorry. I just picked up recently this um, Faber-Castell pencil sharpener, and this is one of the three-hole different-sized pencil sharpeners. 
Um, so you have this hole over here for colored pencils, and then you have this one for different sizes of um, regular graphite pencils or charcoal is harder to sharpen in a pencil sharpener, but anyway. Um, and then, so you close it like this, and then you open it the other way to empty it out. It's really ingenious. So it just pops open this way um, to empty the container out. So this is really nice. The biggest problem, with, the nice thing about this is that it's um, complete in your bag, and it's not going to spill. But it's also pretty large, and so putting it in your sketch kit may be a little bit more difficult. It may be that you throw the long point in and leave this one at home, or you know, get one of those little Alvin bullet ones or the little small metal ones or whatever to take with you and then leave this at home. But it's really nice for colored pencils that have softer cores. Um, erasers. I'm picky, picky, picky about erasers. Um, and I just threw one over there because I had already recorded the video. I had one of those um, tough stick whatever erasers. Who is it made by? I can't even... Um, the one that... Uh, Papermate. Tough stick. The black ones that you get from Dick Flick. And I absolutely hate it. I hate the container it's in because it's all rubbery and creepy feeling. And I hate the eraser. I don't I don't like the way it erases. Um, my favorite erasers on the planet are Stedler's Mar Mars Plastic. Regardless of the form it comes in, I think it's the best eraser um, ever. This side of Pink Pearl. I, I like Pink Pearl erasers. They're cheap. They're ubiquitous. They're easy to get. They work well. Um, they do make maybe a little bit more dust than this. And maybe this erases a little bit better. But, you know... Certainly, if you're just starting, and if you're just if you're writing in a pencil, a pink pearl is certainly plenty. Um, but I like these a lot, and these are really nice and portable. You can keep it clicked inside the barrel. In your, trust me, you can put that all the way inside the barrel and keep it in your bag and keep your eraser nice. So you don't have this banging around inside your bag if that's important to you. Um, but I don't care what form they come in. The Mars, the Stedler Mars plastic are the best. Um, Mechanical pencils. I just got this Pentel Cell Fit from Jet Pens, and it's got a squishy grip to it. It's kind of a memory foamish feeling, and I like it okay. Um, I'm not super fond of Pentel as a brand, their products. Um, I really prefer the Uni Alpha Gels, but I can't find mine, and so I'm going to have to order another one from Jet Pens, but um, I prefer the Alpha Gels. This is an okay pencil. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a shaker, and I really like shaker pencils. Um, because you don't have to stop and mess with the clicky bit. But, you know, it's okay. Um, and I keep a variety of lead on hand. Um, I like the darker stuff. Certainly if I'm drawing, I like the darkest stuff. These are really good. These are also Uni brand. I like these okay. This is, I on uh, jet pens, you can filter your lead. Um, like, do you prefer a long-lasting lead? Do you prefer a pure graphite? And I think these are a pure graphite, as I recall. There's a 2B and a 3B. Um... I like the 2B better. Most most of the pencils that I use are going to be either B or 2B. Um, anything darker gets sometimes way too soft. Anything harder, I don't like the feel of really. Um, now, for general writing, if I'm just using if I'm just writing, B usually is plenty. But if I'm drawing, I prefer the 2B. This is another uni. It's a different type. It's the GRCT pressure-proofed high-density leads. So these should last maybe a little bit longer. I have not used this one much. It's okay. Uh, I recently picked up some of the Pentel Aim because I heard that these were really excellent, and they make a 4B, which is interesting and useful sometimes. So I picked up a B, 2B. Yeah, I know all the jokes. To be or not to be, 4B, all from Jet Pins. These are Pentel Aim. The mechanical pencil also came from Jet Pins. The long point pencil sharpener um, I purchased from Pencils.com, if I didn't say that. I love them. Their service is really good. Um, the original Palomino Blackwing, this came in a... Uh, what's really neat about Pencils.com is that you can get a sample of their pencils, like a sampler pack to try. They carry those California Republic pencils, and this came in one of those samples. I had the 602s, and as you may or may not know, Blackwings come in dozens, um, and so it's kind of a gamble to buy a dozen if you don't... Although, probably you're going to love every black one you buy. I mean, they're excellent. Um, anyway, so Pencils.com, good service, reasonable shipping, quick turnaround time, um, good stuff. So then graphite. Um, I do use regular graphite pencils, but I'm, I'm picky. I'm really picky. I'm probably more picky about my pencils than I am my pens. I know, you're going, <gasps> but true story. Okay, I picked these up recently. These are Prismacolor Ebony. These are pretty good. They're nice and soft. Um, one hardness, as far as I know. 
jet black. They come unsharpened. They look like this. Like, I think all Prismacolors, I think the Premiers come unsharpened as well. Um, they're okay. They're a little bit wider barrel, like the Derwent pencils, which I like. But it has a, <laughs> and I know this is going to sound weird, but it has a lacquer finish on it, like a shiny varnish finish, and I'm not super fond of that. The lead is very smooth. It's not particularly dark. They say it's ebony black. Mm, it's not particularly. Um, hang on just a second. I'm sorry. I have some Derwents here. I have two Derwent Onyx pencils, and I have a dark and a medium, and oddly enough, both of these look exactly the same on paper, so I don't know if perhaps one was mislabeled or the degrees are varying, and so they're so small that you can't tell, but these are Derwent Onyx. Um, the lead is nice and smooth, though. I have yet to meet a Derwent product that I don't like. I think all their pencils are high quality, and I love them because the barrels are larger, and a lot of them are not, they do not have that gloss finish, so they're much more comfortable for me to hold. Um, so yeah, Derwent Onyx. And then I have a Derwent sketching pencil and a 2B. This is nice stuff. Totally recommended. Um, and then I picked up a couple of the Faber-Castell um, the 9000s, these come highly recommended and I hate them. I'm not, in general, not as big a fan of Faber-Castell products. Um, and that's just, you know, it's, and that doesn't say anything about their quality because they're excellent quality. It's just a matter of preference, particularly when you're using a writing instrument, right? Like, my favorite fountain pen on the planet is the Lamy 2000. And I know plenty of people who absolutely hate that pen. And it's either you really like it or you really don't. And the only way you know is to try them. So, you know, buy the pencils in open stock. These came from Dick Flick, open stock. They're both Faber-Castell. One is B, one is 2B. I'm not fond of them. Number one, they have this lacquered finish that I really don't like the feel of. And then I'm just not super fond of the leads. They're kind of... I don't know how to explain that to you. They're just not my favorite. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just a matter of my personal preference. And I'm not too fond of them. And then I picked up, a while back, some more Derwent. These are the graphic pencils. I have a B, a 2B, and an HB. And these are good stuff. Like I said, Derwent. These, don't, these aren't the larger um, barreled ones, but the finish is matte, and they're, um, what, hexagonal? I think, I don't know, is it hexagonal on pencils? They're not round. So uh, that can be nice if you're drawing on a on a surface or a tilted surface, your pencil's not going to roll off on you. Um, I usually set, I, I'm not one to set my pencils down on the surface. I generally set them back on a box or back in the bag or whatever, so um, they're not rolling off on me anyway. But that's a nice um, feature. But Derwent, they're excellent. Nice, soft, smooth leads. Um, and if you haven't noticed, we're going in, in sort of order of the things that I'm absolutely loving. And with the exception of the Palomino Blackwing, which I've already showed you, which is my favorite, these are my favorite um, graphite pencils. These are the Stedler Mars Lumograph. These are fairly new to me. These came from um, Jet Pens. I can't remember if I got them from Jet Pens or Dick Blick. These are fantastic. Buy a whack of them. B, 2B, and what I get, HB, B, and 2B. Those are really the three that I use the most. These are as good as everybody says they are, and I like these even though they have, they're hexagonal and they have a varnish finish. So see, it doesn't always depend on, if, they're, if the lead is good enough, I'll live with the finish that I don't like as much. These are excellent. Stedler makes some excellent products. They're, um, what are those marker pens? The, they're triangular. Oh my god, I'm like totally drawing a blank, I'm sorry. And I have a huge whack of them. You know those ones that everybody uses in their planners? Ugh, what are they called? Triplets, fine liners. I'm so sorry. These are excellent. Um, Stedler for me is kind of like Derwent. I think I don't think I've tried a bad product with theirs, but these are excellent. You could buy these in a set and feel very confident that you're going to get a very good drawing pencil. And if you use, or to use use them to write as well. I've used drawing pencils to write. It's just graphite. Graphite's graphite, right? Um, if um, you use the harder leads, um, 
you know, maybe pick up a set or, you know, if you use them fairly equally, whatever. I prefer mine open stock because I really only use these three um, softness, these three levels of softness in a pencil, so B, H, B, and 2B. Um, but these are fantastic. And then last but certainly not least, oh, these Credicolor, I can't believe it. Credicolor Fine Art Graphite, this came from Dick Blick. This is in a B. I wish I'd bought a whole whack of them. Um, and the set is really interesting because it only comes with an F, an H, and then the rest of them were B, and I think they go up to like 6 or maybe even 8B. Um, but I'm going to pick up the set. They are fantastic. They are hexagonal or whatever pencils are shaped in. I don't know. Maybe it's octagonal. No, it can't be. It's got to be hexagonal, doesn't it? Pointless story. Anyway, it's not round. It has a flat finish, which also helps me love it. But the lead is just amazing in this. The graphite is not lead. Um, smooth and nice and dark and just exactly what you would expect in a B pencil and worth every penny. These were not particularly expensive. Credit color, their products generally aren't, you know, like some Caron de Osh is, I think, kind of overpriced. Faber-Castell, I think, is overpriced. Derwent is probably a little bit underpriced for the quality of their product. Credit Color um, is, I think, maybe a little underpriced. Their stuff is totally reasonable. Um, this is fantastic. If you're going to buy two drawing pencils, get you a Mars Stedler, the Mars Lumograph. That's what they're called. Stedler Mars Lumograph in whatever grade you like and pick up a Credit Color. And I don't think, unfortunately, the Credit Colors you can get from Jet Pens. I know that the, the, the Lumographs you can, but you can get them both from Dick Blick. Now, Dick Blick, let me give you a warning. Um, I like Dick Blick. I order some things from them. Their customer service is really good, and including returns, but they don't pack their stuff worth a shit. So, you know, nothing comes packed as good as Goulet Pin Company is going to pack it, just, just period. But when you're ordering art supplies um, and you're ordering something that you're paying good money for that has a core that could or might break, you really want the company to take enough pride in their product to wrap it properly so that when you get it, your core is not busted up. Because if the core is broken down here, you're going to continue to sharpen and you're going to continue to have lead breakage or graphite breakage or colored pencil breakage. Whatever kind of core you have, if they bust it all up because they don't ship worth a crap, you're going to have a mess. Um, I ordered from Dick Blick ages ago, Prismacolor, oh, what are the little pastels, um, anyway, the little brick pastels from Prismacolor. They sent two sets, both of them were broken. One was horribly broken, and I sent back, the returns were really easy, they were very nice, very accepting. They sent the second set, and they were broken as well. So at that point, it's kind of, you know, sometimes your brick pastel sticks off to use them anyway, so I kept them, but, um, I don't like their shipping practices. These pencils, the pencils that I got from Dick Blick recently, were all in sort of separate bags put in the box, and then there were two of those pillow things put on top of them. So they've been, you know, just rolling around in the bottom of the box, being banged around against each other in the bottom of the box. They don't pack worth the shit. So you might want to call them and say, hey, look, I'm ordering this or this or that, and certainly if you're going to order anything like Prismacolor pencils or pastel pencils or anything where if the core breaks, your life is just screw I mean your money's wasted if the core breaks in a prismacolor you're that's a waste of money so you might want to call them and say look please wrap it in some bubble wrap or something because their their shipping is just horrible but you know weigh what you're going to purchase from them and I really don't know another art supply store to recommend to you that has shipping policies that I think are fantastic um, if you have a local art store um, patronize them first um, and try them out because you know that what you're getting probably is okay. And if not, you have some place to take it back to. Other than that, I don't know. Dick Blick is really the only art store that I order from simply because of price primarily. And I don't have an art store. There used to be an independent one in Albuquerque, which is about 100 miles away that I liked. Uh, and they've closed down because, you know, the economy and most people buy things online. And it's much easier for me to buy online than it is to, to go anywhere and then at that there may or may not be an art store. I don't. There's not one at all in Albuquerque anymore. And I'm not fond of Michael's, and I don't like Hobby Lobby's employee practices. So I don't particularly like either one of those. Anyway, there's my review of pencils. I have a huge honk and whack of them. I'm fixing to order a few more. Pencils are lovely creatures. 
Um, way more picky about those than I am my pins. If you have any questions, thoughts, comments, um, holler at me. I will link down for you Dick Blick and Jet Pins. The only places really where I get pencils. No pencils.com. I'll link them for you too because they're really good as well. And their customer service is really good. Um, shipping is quick. Not quick like Goulet's quick. There's something magic about Goulet Pen Company. Anyway, um, still good stuff. And they have all of those California Republics. They carry all the black wings, the different types of black wings. They carry a few art supplies. They have some colored pencils and stuff, some journals and, you know, whatnot. But I will link them. Any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, holler at me. I would love to see if you have pencils or pens and collections. I love to see what's in my pin bag and especially what's in my sketch kit. Oh, I love those videos. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.